Holla Pete said your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. <clears throat> really need to go to the gym. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shut up. Hell yeah. Well, now I'm watching CNN. Oh, and regarding that guy that kidnapped the girl and killed the boy, she's supposedly okay. Hello, babe? Are you listening? I am doing Sheree TV, but I'm also talking to you. Yeah, you know what I mean? The peeps like it when you show up in the place. Right, peeps? She can already make some biscuit goo. You can't make biscuit goo. I'm not eating it. You don't have to eat it. I ain't making it for you. Well, la dee da. You going to Oh, man. That's so good. But you know what? I'm on a mission. Okay? I want it. I can't have it. My wife, my wonderful, beautiful wife, yeah. eat all the biscuit goop you want right in front of me. I don't even care. I don't even want a pancake. Come say hi to the peeps. Let me let me style your hair or something. You wearing that tired ass ponytail. Let me let me fix you up. Wave. Nope. Baby just kind of like appears. Ah. You know what I mean? Can't you handle that like, you know, a lady? You did say excuse me. What more do you want? You know what I mean? What more do you want? Blood? Did you used to say that? We used to say that. What more you want, blood? Do I have any more near near beer in there? Yeah. Good. So I'm gonna miss some with this one. I've got my waist trimmer on. It's this really cool band. I think I told you guys that, but excuse me, noise. Okay, I understand you cooking. <laughs> no, keep doing your cooking. No, go ahead. You need your own cooking show. You you've never ever called a black person an M word. You got a clean slate. Ain't no more Paula Dean. I'm telling you, you need to hit up my wife. And plus, she's lesbian. That can't hurt your network. You know, Sheree and Baby. Baby can cook. Baby's been cooking since she was nine. Two sticks of butter. Two sticks of butter. This stuff is so bad for you. I'm not eating it. But if you want country recipes, and she's got family recipes, like recipes that are only in the family. Like, I have not even looked at them. I mean, I probably could, but I don't cook, so... That would be just a waste of my time, her time, and the paper's time. Okay. What you say? I was mad with Nancy. I ain't on there, am I? Yeah, that's all right. No, no, you're not in the frame. I'm on Isn't that something? Yeah, Cherie, T Cherie TV is... Let's see, there you are. You know what I'm saying? Straight walking. Yeah, just walk around and do your thing. <laughs> I'm not telling you what to do. You just said, just walk around and do your thing. Yeah, just walk around. No. I, if, if Christian Bell will go off. Mm -hmm. No. 
I'm not walking, he's walking. That's still the best rant ever ever in on your mind history. Yeah. In all 13 years, the Christian Bale rant is the best. I mean, it's awesome. I, you know what? We might have to play that tonight. Just because it is the best. I don't know. I don't know, though, because, dude, who was dude that was like, burn the house down, but blow me first? Uh, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. That's it's close. Love it. You know? That was great. <laughs> Blow me first. He was keeping it real. I can't eat that goop. I can't eat that goop. I can't eat any of that, honey. I hope you're not offended. Not See, with country people. What'd you say? That's more for you. That's right. Country people, they get offended if you don't eat their food. Hey. You would say, baby, nah. Speak up. You're part of Cherie TV, aren't you? Probably. What? See, you're purposely mumbling now, because you know that'll make me mad. Because the peeps can't hear you. She's cooking. I love that commercial. Kia's commercial? Let's dance. David Bowie, right? Yep. Under the moonlight, the serious moonlight. Under the moonlight, the serious moonlight. Holla at all Sheree TV watchers everywhere. I'm just hanging out. What's up? You know, there's moments when you can just take and just chill and hang out with your peeps. I consider all of you guys my peeps. My people. That's what that means. Peeps. Not peeps like the little bunnies that you eat at Easter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, maybe some people don't know what peeps mean. I mean, God bless you if you don't know what peeps mean. On your mind, peeps. My family, they my peeps. My friends are my peeps. People that watch Sheree TV are my peeps. My people. I love y'all. If you're down for Sheree and baby, you my peep. And I love you. Right? Easily said. Yeah, you don't want to eat them, man. What? It's nasty. You don't want to eat them. I don't want to eat them. I'm waiting to go to the gym. After you eat your goop, we'll go. How's that? I mean... We were headed to the gym, right? Yeah. I'm not looking at myself. I'm looking at the peeps. Holla, peeps. I love y'all. 
Let's see what this Piers Morgan. I like Piers. Friends of Hannah Anderson, the girl that's missing. You had concerns about Hannah Anderson's relationship with this man, Jacob Dimaggio. Tell me about that. Um, yes, she had mentioned earlier in the year something about um, Jim having a crush on her, but that's it. And was she concerned about that? Was she unnerved by it? Um, yes, definitely, as well as me and Anna were. Yeah, and uh, Hannah Darby, um, you also share the same name as your friend. Um, in terms of what she said to you about James DiMaggio, is it possible at all, do you think? that she could have gone off with him willingly? Absolutely not. I'm sure that this is one thing that Hannah would not have wanted because she absolutely loved her mom and her little brother and it's just, it's just one thing that I know that she wouldn't want to do willingly. Mm -hmm. Is it possible, Alan, that, that Hannah may be totally unaware about what's happened to her mother and uh, to her brother and that She's uh, absconded with this man uh, and gone on some crazy adventure, completely unaware about what he's done. Um, she may be unaware of her mother and brother's death, but I feel like even if she is, she knows that something is wrong because she would never go oh. off to, I mean, Idaho and across four states with him without knowing anything. I mean, Hannah, what would you say James DiMaggio was like from, from what Hannah told you and what you may have seen on her just like? Well, he was, he was a very nice person that you could easily get along with, and he was just always there for Hannah for anything, and just, just a really nice, sensitive person, I guess that you would say. I didn't really know him that well to get to know him more. And finally, Anna, if, if by any chance uh, Hannah's near a television and may see this uh, either now or we'll be in the show later, what would you say to her? Um, just that, I mean, we were looking for her and we came across this car and that we are looking for her and that if she has a chance just to run and that someone will find her and so many people are looking for her right now and we just want her home. Alan McNabb and Hannah Dunn, thank you both so much for joining me. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. I'm now going to bring in uh, John Walsh. John, uh, from all we've heard today, it does change the story. Uh, we, we, don't have, we don't have John Walsh. I'm sorry, we have a technical problem. That's all. I'm going to get John and Nathan filling here next. High drama for superstar singer Usher. He takes the stand in a bit of custody battle, and it's all in front of the cameras. <laughs> I'm treated like royalty here. As my thoughts drift, I'm just proud. I soak up the energy. It leaves me rejuvenated and ready to explore across a country of remarkable horizons. With works of art that can be admired from all sides, I take a deep breath, renewed. I've found a place where I can pause and reflect. Czech Republic. Dream. Think of land of stories. I joined that because my cousin, uncle, sister, and her husband met his wife, met her new family on Match.com. Did you know that people who join Match are three times more likely to find a relationship than people who don't? Yes, if you're lying on me. Start for free today. Farmers presents 15 seconds of smart. So you want to drive more safely. Stop eating. Take deep breaths. Avoid bad weather. Get eight hours. Turn it down, and of course, talk to farmers. Hi. Hi. We are farmers. Oh, 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 oh. Who did? Checking out of the double trees in the end.
Your next trip is calling you. Say, Dan, schedule a five o'clock meeting at Hilton Garden Inn. Or Dan, explore your family tree at a Homewood Suite. Or put your feet in the sand at a Waldorf Astoria. Never stop vacationing, Dan. Book during the great getaway for great race at our 10 top hotel branch. Travel is calling you to HiltonGreatGetaways.com. She said biscuit goo. Mmm. You want to say her song? Well planned event. 
Can we rule out, John, despite that the father's understandable total distress and desperation to go back, can we rule out, given all that, that Hannah may be completely unaware of what he did to her, her brother and her mother, and that she may have gone along on what she believed to be just an adventure with this man? Well, let, let's hope that's the case, but, but no one, unless the, when the, until the story is over, and no one who has walked in the shoes of Anna, unless they've walked in those shoes, has any right. Elizabeth, people talked about Elizabeth Park, the smart, the girl from Utah, that was kidnapped and, and kept in captivity for eight months. She said, you know, we were stopped by the police three times, and she said, I was, in, I was so traumatized, I was so afraid and so scared, and then my kid never told me, I got into your house, I will kill your little sister, I will kill your mother and father, and whoever say to people that I kidnapped you, maybe that's the situation that Hannah's in right now. She is so traumatized, she may or may not have witnessed the murder of her mother and her brother, and as we know from the girls in Ohio, in many, many cases I've done on America's Most Wanted, particularly with women, they will do what they have to do to survive. And the jury's still out, but I don't think anybody has the right to assume that Hannah's a cross. Turn tight. Finally, John, we will be spoke yesterday. Oh shit, I totally forgot I was recording. I hope this takes. Uh, I love you guys.